So what is the frame loop? This is an interesting question that should be answered using some video. I've embedded a video of the first ever created movie. This movie was created by the British photographer Edward Muybridge. It was created in 1886. What he did, he took 24 still photographs of the horse and the jockey and then has combined them together into this first movie ever created. Each of these part photographs we call frames. Therefore, this movie has a frame rate of 24 frames per second. Okay. So now when we understand the concept of the frame rate and how the movie is created, we can apply this concept to diagnostic ultrasound. Since the PW or pulsed wave ultrasound is used to create the ultrasound images by calculating the distance to the particular object inside of human body using the range equation, which you see right here. The range equation, just to remind you, it is a distance which is equal to the speed of sound in the tissue multiplied by the time it takes for the sound to travel from the surface of the transducer to a particular object inside of the human tissue or a particular subject's interface inside of the human tissue and then come back to the surface of the transducer in a form of echo. And we divide it by two because we need to calculate just the distance from the transducer to the interface of the object. The PRF is a big factor in creating the ultrasound still images or live ultrasound scan. And the reason being is because only pulsed wave ultrasound allow, uh, allows us to calculate this distance. So PRF, or pulse repetition frequency, as a part of the pulsed wave ultrasound is a big factor. So each complete scan of the ultrasound beam produces an image on the display called the frame. Each frame is comprised of scan lines. And you see here the image of the beam, and within the beam you see the scan lines. The scan lines comprising the ultrasound beam and dependent on the number of piezoelectrical elements in the array transducer that is simultaneously vibrating. Now, in order to recall what piezoelectrical elements are and what the array transducers are, please refer back to my previous lecture. Therefore, the PRF, or pulse repetition frequency, number of lines per frame, and number of frames per second, which we call frame rate, are all related to each other. In other words, each one of these concepts is dependent on one another. Furthermore, the relationship among the lines per frame, frame rate, and maximum imaging depth in soft tissues is as follows maximum depth in centimeters, lines per frame, unitless number, and a frame rate, which is which has the unit of frames per second, equals 77,000. Now, this number is good to remember. However, it's not required on the board exam. But please note that this particular formula only works for soft tissue and no other human or other tissues, like for example, a bone, blood, or fat. And to make this idea more visual, here's another logical chain that I'd like you to understand and remember. PRF, pulse repetition frequency, which is measured in hertz or kilohertz, is related to the lines per frame and the frame rate. In other words, to increase the frame rate, which is calculated as the number of frames per second, you need to create more pulses or increase the pulse repetition frequency. Let's go back to the movie that we saw on the previous slide of the horse and the jockey. Remember the photographer that created this first ever live movie 
has taken 24 still pictures. So the frame rate of his movie was 24 frames per second. The modern equipment is usually using the uh, frame rate at 30 frames per second. Also, in order to increase the number of lines per frame, you need to increase the pulse repetition frequency and vice versa. And one last thing. You may wonder, why would I need to increase the number of lines per frame? The answer is very simple, because it will improve the quality of the ultrasound image, because you will be able to show more details in the area of the tissue that is covered by the ultrasound beam. And remember, the ultrasound beam is comprised of the uh, scan lines. And now let's move on to the next lecture.